Today's video is brought to you by the good people over at PatriotPost.us. They are an excellent source of news, information, not pets, all that good stuff. And a link for them will be in the description box. So when you head over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about this clip that has been circulating all around the internet and has pretty much gone viral at this point of a California police officer, quote unquote, threatening some teens with a gun. Now, the reason why I put that in quotes is because the headline you may have seen is not exactly what was going on. But before I even get into it, let's roll the clip. In this clip, you'll see what happened. You'll see the quote unquote teens, the officer, the gun, and some other things. After we get done with that, I'll talk about what was said in the video, what was done in the video. I'll give you my two cents, my analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Hey, back off. We're gonna stop. We're done, okay? Yo, 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 yo. Hey, back off. We're going to stop. We're done, okay? All right, so you see that. You see what's going on. You heard that. Now, <laughs> there's a lot to quote unquote unpack here, as the cool kids would say. I got to start with the obvious, in my opinion, elephant in the room. First off, the officer did not just go up to the teens and threaten them with a gun that's not what's going on let's get into the backstory of what happened apparently an off-duty california officer approached some teenager skateboarding or whatever for their loud music okay he did not have his gun out he just went and approached him asked him hey turn that down now i've not read every single article but i've read quite a few and i've not seen any mention of what happened in between the point where he asked him to turn the music down, and then the point where the gun comes out. Except for the fact that, oh, it was a confrontation and things escalated. How did they escalate? The, the quote-unquote teens be like, F you, I ain't turning down nothing. Woo -woo -woo. You know, did they do that? Was it a physical confrontation? I don't really know. But at a certain point, one of the quote-unquote teens is like trying to touch the officer, and then the officer is like knocking his hand away. And then the team produces a skateboard and is about to swing it, okay? Now, I'm not a skateboarder. I'm not Tony Hawk over here, but I know a little bit about skateboarding. You don't hold the skateboard like this if you get ready to skate. You hold it like this to be used as a weapon, like a baseball bat or something else, a crowbar. You're trying to use it to swing and hit somebody. Now, if you are a person on the other end of the skateboard, what are you going to do? Well, the officer, he was off duty, but he did have his gun on him. So he drew the gun and said, okay, put the skateboard down. Let's not have nothing crazy happen. And then the confrontation was over with. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got injured. Nobody got shot, grazed. The bullets didn't fly. The gun did not go off. Everything was A-OK. -okay. That was the appropriate decision to make. Now, he did get placed on administrative leave. I don't think he'll be fired, nor should he be fired. People are calling for his head, talking about, oh, he needs to get fired right now. He should resign. He should get locked up. Why should he get locked up? I mean, he was threatened with the actual skateboard first. He drew his gun just to make sure everything was on the up and up and things did not escalate beyond that point that nobody got hurt, injured, shot beat with the skateboard or anything of the sort. And also, if you have a gun on you and you're an officer, you got to protect that weapon because if you get hit with that actual skateboard in your head and you get knocked out, what may happen is some quote unquote teens may rifle through your pockets, find a gun. Now it's a free gun. Not only is your life in danger as a person that got knocked out that had a gun on you that's now in the hands of one of these people, you also have the lives of those that are around the situation in danger as well. Playing with the gun, it goes off. Somebody gets shot, killed because you were not responsible with your gun. You're supposed to protect that gun, but you didn't. You're trying to get into a fist fight and be some kind of judo master. That's not really how these things play out in real life, which is why it's great to be able to conceal carry, open carry as regular citizen. But for now, I digress. 
people are trying to call for the officer's head. He did not do anything wrong here. OK, some would say, oh, we shouldn't have drawn down on these teens or just kids. Well, <laughs> I'm not really sure where you've been forever, but this age group between like 14, 18, I assume it could be younger than that, but I doubt it. That age group right there are very dangerous. Go to any juvenile hall or any, even any penitentiary, the kids or the quote unquote jits, as they call them, like in Florida, those are the craziest ones. 100% because they're young, they're full of energy, testosterone, their brains ain't all the way developed, and they don't have much intelligence. They're trying to prove themselves by means of violence. You know, they're trying to dominate others through means of violence. It's not so much cunning and, uh, you know, kind games going on at that particular point in their careers, especially in jail. Once you get to be a little bit older, here comes the manipulation, the kind, and that type of thing from inmates. But once you get to be, uh, Dealing with the youngins, they're all about violence, fighting all day, every day. It's no different out there on the street. That's how a lot of these teenagers are, which is why in Virginia, you can be tried as an adult at age 14. Because they see 14, 15 year olds doing home invasions, killing the owner, carjackings, killing the occupants, you know, driving reckless with a baby in the back that they just carjacked, the baby dies, gets thrown out the window. So they understand how reckless these quote unquote teens are. So to say, oh, because they're teens, you can't draw down. I mean, come on. All right. And if you get hit with that skateboard, it don't take that much pressure to knock you out. And then you got a bunch of people around. You have one person with a gun and he could be potentially surrounded by 10 to 15 people. I mean, what are you really going to do in that situation? The officer did right, which was to draw the weapon just to make sure the skateboard got put down. Nobody raised their skateboard and he showed his badge to let everybody know, like, hey, you touch me it's going to be a problem. You're going to get arrested. Nobody wants that. Okay. I think it was no harm, no foul, quite honestly. OK, nobody got hurt from the kids. The officer didn't get hurt and everything was all right. People that say otherwise, in my humble opinion, just are looking at it from the point of view of uh, just trying to hate the police, really. And there's no, there's no point in doing that because without the police, as I close, a lot of these areas, I'm not really sure where they were. It could have been inner city or suburbs, whatever. But a lot of these areas that the police are would just descend into chaos, into anarchy, into total just mayhem because there is no person there or a force there to make sure everything is on the up and up. It's as simple as that. And I'm glad that the music complaint did not turn into anything more, which is what it should have been. Hey, turn music down. Oh, you want to threaten me? Here's a gun. Don't do it. Everybody chill out. And you could hear some of the kids in the background say, okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. Yes. What, that's what you want to say. We're done. It's over and move on with your life. That is how these encounters should go. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. What say you? Do you think the officer was correct to draw his weapon on the young man with the skateboard? If that's your particular viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or was he incorrect? Was he totally in the wrong to do that? What should the actual solution have been? Because, I mean, once you're in a situation and things kind of get testy, what are you really going to do? You can run away and then risk being attack from behind with the skateboard and you're in the same situation you were when you were facing square on with them. If you don't run away, you're trying to get into a fist fight. You must run to get hit one good time in the head, rather from the skateboard, uh, a fist, a foot, whatever it is, just one good time. Now you're knocked out and your weapon is totally exposed. And if those kids decide to go through your pockets, That'd be a worse situation than it would have been if you just simply drew your weapon, showed your badge, and just calmed the whole situation down. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.